Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, the other day I did a short video about the basics of GDB. If you didn't see it, I'll link to it below in the description. Today I want to add to it by teaching you how to examine memory and look beyond how the compiler interprets your variables and see how they're actually stored in memory. Uh, in this example, so let's, I have a struct. Uh, maybe I want to know how much memory that struct takes up. If I add up the size of the elements, then I get seven bytes. But when I compile it, I see that it's actually 12 bytes. We'll get to why in a minute, but first let's look at the memory. We do this uh, using the x command in GDB. Alone with a pointer, this command tells us the hex value of the word of memory at that address, but we can also tell it to show us multiple words or multiple bytes. We can also interpret that memory as null terminated string or as code. It'll actually show you the machine instructions. I don't actually use those two options very often. I usually stick to the hex, but they're available in case, in case you want to use them. So in our example, we see that the compiler actually inserted padding in between the entries of the struct so that it will be word aligned. And the compiler does this to make your program run faster. It's usually not a problem. It's usually what you want to do. We usually care more about speed than memory anyway. And as a side note, if you're working with GCC and Clang, you can use the, the pack pragma to tell the compiler not to add padding. Then the struct will only take up seven bytes, and you can see that here. So anyway, now you know how to examine memory in GDB with the X command. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever. If you have other questions that you'd like me to answer, let me know in a comment, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, and happy coding.